I've been wanting a quick change tool post set since I bought my lathe. In fact, I was going to order them at the same time, but I held off for fear of getting the wrong one. Uh, I knew I wanted the wedge type. AXA is the size of the set. And for some reason, wedge seems to be more uh, preferred over the piston type that you uh, also will see. And I had pretty much settled on getting either the Shars or the Little Machine Shop, which, if you look closely, appear to be the same tools, even though the picture is different. And then I found this set on Amazon, which looks like the Little Machine Shop set, same picture, but 60 bucks less. And so there was one favorable review at the time, and I figured, why not? So I pulled the trigger and bought from Amazon. To my surprise, when I got the tools, they were shipped from Shars, and once opening the box, found a Shars invoice, and also tools all labeled as Shars. So, bought on Amazon, advertised to look like a little machine shop, but ultimately comes from Shars and is Shars tools. Let's take a look at them now. Uh, everything was boxed up nicely and wrapped in plastic and coated in cosmoline, so you will need to do a little bit of cleanup. I used uh, brake cleaner and then wiped everything down with uh, some WD-40, and I think that'll, I think that'll do the job. I'm not going to go over uh, what's included in the set. Uh, all these different tool holders are listed in the description below. Uh, you'll also find the links to all three of the websites. And uh, what I don't show in this clip is the adapter plate, which you'll need to machine to fit your lathe as well as a stud that will hold the tool post down to that adapter plate. Let me show you what that looks like. Uh, the old four-way tool post has a 10 millimeter thread, uh, 10 millimeter threaded stud, and it's 1.5 pitch, and that goes into this uh, T-slot uh, T or plate for the T-slot. The block that, that Shars gives you is too short and too fat and doesn't have the shoulders machined into it, and so it's not going to fit. The thickness is okay, but you're going to have to machine the rest of it uh, to get it to fit into your compound. Now, I don't own a mill, and I don't know, I don't have any friends locally that have a mill. Uh, so I was going to go to a, uh, you know, a professional machine shop and uh, with my uh, specifications and have it machined. Um, the nice thing about going with the bigger, uh, with their block, or if you create a new one that's the, the right length, just out of a piece of scrap steel or whatever you have, is you get to use that bigger 14-millimeter uh, stud, or you can make your own. This is 10-millimeter stud, uh, or 10-millimeter threads on the bottom, so I can use it on the old uh, T-slotted plate with 14-millimeter threads on the top to hold down the tool post. This is the same one you saw me turning in my last video on how to cut metric threads, and I have to say I'm very pleased with the results. I just installed it last night, so it doesn't have a ton of time on it, but I have no reason to believe this isn't going to work. However, if it fails, I'll post a video of that in the future, and I'll put a link to that in this video to make sure everybody's aware that creating your own stud is not going to get the job done. However, like I say, I'm confident this is going to work. The other thing I did was uh, tram the compound or tram the uh, tool post into about a thousandth of an inch parallel with the cross slide motion, and then I installed this tool holder and my turning tool and trammed it, and found that it was within a couple thousandths. Um, of parallel of the tool post. So I'm very pleased with the quality and uh, I guess time will tell how well it holds up. Anyway, that's pretty much everything. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and post your questions and comments below.